Good morning, people watching Miss 65, Lisa Voice. I'm going to give you the gospel. It's in 1 Corinthians 15, 1 through 4. Christ spilled his blood for our past, present, and future sins, was buried and rose again on the third day, according to scripture. We're saved by grace, something we didn't earn and something we don't deserve, by faith through Jesus, in Jesus alone. That's it. Not of ourselves. Not of works, at least any man should boast. That's the gospel right there. Once you come to the end of yourself and admit you're a sinner in need of a savior. I've, I've said this before, you've automatically repented. You've automatically changed your mind. Um, people can argue about that, have at it. You've automatically changed your mind about Christ and about sin. When you give your when you accept Christ as Savior, when you accept him as Savior, you've automatically put your faith and trust in the, in the Lord. You are justified by the blood of Jesus. The Holy Spirit will indwell in you. The Holy Spirit will seal you until the day of redemption, which means you cannot lose your salvation. You are sealed. The Holy Spirit will change you. The Holy Spirit will lead you and guide you. And the Holy Spirit is your best friend. The gospel folks can't get no simpler than that. We're saved by believing in what Christ already did for us at the cross. At that point, we're justified by the blood of Jesus, by the blood of the Lamb. And we're saved. As simple as that, we're saved. Some people, like I told you uh, a couple of days ago, uh, I grew up in the Pentecostal movement. I grew up in the holiness movement, which means that if you sneeze wrong, you could lose your salvation, according to them. If you don't speak in tongues, you're not saved. That couldn't have been further than the truth. You grow that that movement, and I'm going to knock that movement. That movement is based on fear. If you do the wrong thing, if you say the wrong thing, you're not saved, according to them. That is not true. No one ever taught me grace. No one ever taught me dispensations. No one ever taught me anything from that movement. No one even never taught me what the will of God is. And I'm going to tell you what the will of God is. The will of God is that you accept Christ as Savior, period. That's the will of God. That's it. The Holy Spirit teaches you along the way. That's why we let that's why the Holy Spirit changes you. The Holy Spirit teaches you along the way. Folks, that is the gospel simple. That's what it is. Again, I said last night uh, we don't change the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit changes us. And again, he's trying to get the attention of people. Earthquake swarm continues in South Carolina. Geological professors say is very unusual. So you got South Carolina... South Carolina is, is being inundated right now. South Carolina has 10 earthquakes as of noon Wednesday. Near the Columbian area in just as many days, according to the uh, WYFF, said Jamie, uh, Jamie, an associate professor, Stephen Jamie, an associate professor of geology at the College of Charleston, said, we're looking into this, but it is unusual. It's not unusual. It's God. He's trying to wake people up. There's nothing coincidental, coincidental with what's happening right now. With the sounds that's going on. With the booms that people are hearing. It's not a coincidence. However, the professor who specializes in earthquakes said one thing to keep in mind. Sam, if you want to come in, come in. 
One thing to keep in mind is South Carolina is earthquake country. The quakes have occurred near the Lugoff and Elgin area since December 27th, according to South Carolina Emergency Management Division. Uh, this is an area near a regional fault system. It's actually called the Eastern Piedmont Fault System. It actually goes through Alabama up into Virginia, he said. There are faults, and these are usually very old faults, and they formed when the Appalachians were being formed. This is interesting. So the question is, are they being reactivated? Are they kind of starting back up again in that particular area? And that's what we are investigating. I think they are. I think earthquakes are going to start happening rapidly now, everywhere. We just got one here, and we rarely get a quake in Ohio. Although the series of tremors have been coming in swift succession, clusters often happen. According to the Sub, uh, South Carolina Emergency Management Division, the state typically averages up to 20 quakes a year. At this point, there have been half that amount in only 10 days. 10 days. Sorry about that. That's my son. When we have a sequence of earthquakes that kind of keeps going, what what we call is a swarm, but usually a swarm doesn't have one earthquake bigger than others. So we have the 3.3s, which was clearly the start of these and more of long live, uh, long lived aftershocks. This is going to keep on and it's going to get worse. Again, God is trying to get the attention of people. Seriously. Um, this is going to be a short um, video because I have to go to my second earthly home and you all know where that is. But folks, it's time to get saved for real. It's time to stop uh, worrying about... Um, whatever that has nothing to do with salvation and just accept Christ as savior by believing in what he did for you at the cross which was shed his blood for your past present and future sins that's the gospel that's the only thing I'm here for I'm not here to appease anybody I'm here to just give you the simple gospel witness the simple gospel I'm not a teacher, and I'm definitely not a preacher, nor can I be because I'm a woman. All I'm here to do is give you the simple gospel and the news and how it relates to end times. Um, I thank you all for your support. Um, I pray for you guys, and <clears throat> I will be back with the next video later on. I'm watching several things right now, but I'm trying to find out if there's any uh, more information about what's going on in uh, Kakistan or wherever it is. So I will be back with more information about that after I come back from my second earthly home, which is the grocery store. So <laughs> I'll be back later. Thank you.